So many places avoid sensitive words, even totally unrelated and strange words. So I never thought that Green Dam was that important, because there would be other things without Green Dam. Do you think that the Chinese government has perhaps a valid reason for not wanting the general populace to have free and open access to the World Wide Web? Um, so they don't need a reason. <laughs> It's like this. I think to us, of course, we welcome the Internet. To be honest, everyone is able to distinguish information to a certain extent. But to government officials, they're probably more cautious and watchful because they controlled all the information before. They provided all the newspaper content, so it was very easy to control. You can do that by regulating the printing companies and publishing companies. But the Internet is harder to regulate in comparison, so it's an area of concern to them. But I don't think I could talk about a reason, because I think they don't need a reason to do anything. Also, to be honest, the situation with China and the Internet is uncertain. The regulation could be relatively lax for a few years. You could discuss many topics, but then it could be stricter. There could be many sensitive words. Posts discussing this and that would be censored and deleted. So it's uncertain, lax at times, strict at times. You can discuss this now, but maybe not tomorrow. So there are no hard and fast rules. It all depends on our leaders' mood swings. Do you see any loosening of the rules surrounding freedom of expression, anything at all that the government should be commended for? They decided to open up the Internet. I think this is a big contribution. I believe they must have had their own concerns back then, because, first of all, the World Wide Web is a very large industry. You need to open it up for future business growth. But they didn't expect the consequences because they thought the Internet was just like any other form of media. You can simply control and regulate the websites to show what they choose. But they forgot that people not only have a computer monitor, they also have a keyboard. They forgot about that. So they not only have to worry about the information already on the websites, but they also have to worry about what's being posted on the websites. The posts that are directly uploaded onto the Internet give them the biggest headache. But regardless, I still feel grateful about the government's decision to open up the Internet. This is a great push forward for China. Despite how regulated and controlled the Internet is in China, I think the Internet has still enabled us to be more in sync with the rest of the world. What about the fact that um, the government didn't just steamroller Green Dam in? Doesn't that show that they're listening to the voice of the people? I think that's because Green Dam, on one hand, the software isn't really good. It's very ugly. On the other hand, it made people scared. Ordinary Chinese people have really low expectations regarding their rights on the Internet. They think it's okay to have their posts deleted. They won't talk about anything in public, but only in their own privacy. They want to talk about the issues with their friends or keep their writings on their laptop. That's the bottom line. As for Green Dam, the software has tampered with this bottom line. People are scared that even if they don't go online, the software will enable the government to monitor and control their private content. That is their biggest fear. The Chinese people are in a very strange period right now. They understand that there are issues with many things, but have not spoken out about them. No one will discuss the issues formally in public, but they will discuss it in private. And it's this room for private discussions in which they are trying to protect. Green Dam tried to hinder this last remaining privacy, so it scared people. Well, Google made its feelings pretty clear when it recently pushed back and took its business elsewhere over China's censorship laws. Um, many commentators think that this is a serious blow to democracy in this country. 
How great do you think the significance of that move was? To be honest, Google was under regulations to avoid sensitive words when it was in China. But in comparison to Baidu, well, Google obviously has its own ideals and thoughts. But this is definitely a big issue to the Chinese government. I won't comment on anything else, but I know that during that period of time, all articles praising Google were deleted. I started competing in racing tournaments in 2003 when I participated in the China Rally Championship. I later competed in the Formula BMW Pacific and China Circuit Championship and other types of competitions. When I watched the racing tournaments when I was young, I thought it'd be great if I could drive like that one day. And when I grew up, I realized my dream. It's as simple as that. I was ranked number one in the 2007 China Circuit Championship, number one in 2008 China Rally Championships 1600cc group, and number one in the 2009 China Rally Championship. China's racing skills and talents are not as advanced as those in Europe and the United States, including Japan as well. But it's not bad in Asia, because the China Rally Championship and China Circuit Championship are very popular. We've just started and are doing quite well in Asia. But hopefully one day we can defeat the European teams as well. Far from being an anonymous, faceless computer geek tucked away in some garden shed somewhere, you know, you're very recognisable, you're a celebrity in your own right, uh, you're a race car driver as well, so you must enjoy the glamour side of what you do, right? Uh, I really love my two jobs right now, because both jobs are very challenging and contain an element of danger. But these are not the most important things to me. The most important thing is that when I was young, I was very naughty. I was always called out by the teacher for chatting or reading other books during class. So I was punished and told to stand in the corner alone while others sat at their desks. So I swore to myself that my future jobs would all be sitting down. I never wanted to stand again. So I chose these two professions. I'm very satisfied. You are um, considered a real heartthrob around these parts. Women fling themselves at you um, after your races. How does that sit with the contemplative intellectual in you? Uh, it's quite hard to answer. <laughs> I don't know the... I really don't think these two roles have any conflicting points. I think an intellectual can also chase girls and excel at it. Also, I've never considered myself to be an intellectual. In terms of chasing girls, Chinese intellectuals always lose to celebrities or artists and government officials. I hope to help them earn some respect on that front. Han Han, you come across as a very self-assured sort of a bloke, but do you ever have moments, I don't know, maybe in the dead of night when you're blogging away, um, of doubt where you say, what am I doing? I'm fighting against this massive force that's so much bigger than I am. How can I ever win? If I always thought like that, I would be in a lot of pain. I don't want myself to be in that sort of pain, so I won't think like that. I will never think that I'm fighting against something. Have you ever considered becoming a government official, trying to change things from the inside? Uh, it's a very good question. This is the only, <laughs> yes, this is, I think this is the only, only way in China. Um, 
I've thought about this. But every time I see government officials standing on the stage to give a speech, every time I see the same expressions on their faces and hear the same words and the tone of their speeches, while everyone else just sits there clapping, and every time I see so many rules, I feel nauseous. I don't think I could adapt to that. I'm a very strong person. I have a very high tolerance and a lot of patience. I believe that I have a strong heart. But if you put me at their meetings, I don't think I could handle it. I'd collapse. Han Han, I better let you get back to your hundreds of millions of readers, but thank you very much for spending time with us today. It was great. Thank you. Thank you very much.